Hey everyone, today I am going to make an inverter circuit for your school and college project. So for an inverter circuit you will need two of these MJE13009. These two are the power transistors which are going to perform the switching for the transformer that will in turn turn the DC current into an AC current and two of 1 kilo ohm 1 watt resistors. So getting on with the connections now. First we will connect the resistor. Now the leftmost terminal of this power transistor is the base which will be connected to this terminal of the resistor. So we will connect it like this. Yeah. So the leftmost terminal of the power transistor is connected to the resistor. And now the middle terminal of this power transistor is the collector. So to this terminal we will connect the collector which will be the middle terminal. Okay. So the base of this power transistor is connected to the collector of this power transistor. After that you have to connect the base of this power transistor to the collector of this power transistor. So in this case the first one is base so it's like this and the middle one is the collector for the second one yeah, first one way yeah so it's like this first one is the base the middle one is the collector and similarly this one is the base and the middle one is the collector so this power transistor section is completed so guys what I have done is I have connected one wire to the collector of one power transistor and another wire to the collector of the other power transistor you can see so two wires yellow wires are connected to the collectors of both the power transistors and they are separate so I have shorted the emitters of these two power transistors with this wire this is the jumper wire that is shorting the emitter of this as well as this and I have taken out one common wire for both the emitters of the power transistor. Now what we have to do is connect a center tap transformer to this circuit. So I'm going to use a UPS transformer. So this is a transformer from an old UPS that I have. And these are the center tap inputs. And the maximum output out of all these wires appear at these two wires which is the white and the blue one. And so I'm not going to use uh, any of these three other wires. Coming to the connection part now. So what we are going to do is we are going to connect the two collector output wires to the two black wires. Uh, uh, the other two wires. This is the middle wire and these are the outer side wires. So this is the first collector wire. first connector wire is connected now comes the second one yeah so both the collector wires are connected to this output now what I'm left with is this red wire and the emitter wire and these two wires will be connected to the battery and this inverter system will start working so guys now I have connected an extension wire to this middle terminal which will be the positive terminal for the battery and this one emitter is always the negative and I'm going to use this 12 volts 7H battery to operate so guys I'm using this 15 watts Philips CFL that I've connected to the output terminals of this transformer so I'm going to perform the connections now the center red one wire is going to connect to the positive terminal of the battery and the emitter wire common emitter wire is going to be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and now when I will connect this you should see the bulb glow ok go so you can see that the circuit is performing good and this is how your inverter circuit will work so thank you so much for watching my video thank you